الايلتس ذا ايلتس وي هاف ابر ايلتس اند لور ايلتس الابر ايلتس هاف ايلت فولد ذس از ذا ايلت فولد ابر ايلت فولد اند ايلت كريس This is the eyelid margin. This is the margin which is rectangular in shape. This is the eyelid margin, lower lid margin, and upper lid margin. This area where the uh, orifices of the cilia or the eyelash is the anterior lid margin or the anterior lid border, while this one posteriorly. This one is the uh, site where the origin, or where the orifices of the meepomian gland, and is called the posterior lid margin. This uh, fleshy triangular portion medially is the caruncle, while inferior, superiorly and inferiorly is the punctum, the upper punctum and the lower punctum. For the lacrimal drainage system, this is the palpebral fissure, lateral canthal, and the medial canthus. This is the site for the eye pro and the frontal region, our forehead. From this site, which is the site for the muscle, this is the skin. The uh, subcutaneous tissue and the muscular portion. This is the frontalis muscle, and this the surrounding the orb and palpebral fissure is the orbicularis or oculi muscle. This area is the connection between the five parts of the orbicularis oculi muscle. The orbicularis oculi muscle divide into orbital portion or palpebral portion. The orbital portion, this one, is the orbital portion. This one is the orbital portion. The palpebral portion further divide into preceptal or pretarsal. The preceptal, this one is the preceptal. This is the preceptal muscle. While the pretarsal, this area is the pretarsal. This is the pretarsal muscle. The pretarsal have Lacrimal portion, this is the lacrimal portion, or what is called the hornal muscle. Lacrimal having uh, insertion into the anterior lacrimal crest will posterior lacrimal crest. This is the insertion for the lac uh, posterior, and this is the insertion for the anterior lacrimal crest at this size. This is the insertion for the posterior lacrimal crest, and this is the insertion for the anterior lacrimal crest surrounding the lacrimal sac to aid into the drainage of the tear. This whitish area, which is a dense connective tissue called the tarsal plate, upper tarsal plate and lower tarsal plate. When we remove part of the tarsal plate, we found this small glands that uh, runs vertically here and here. Is the meepomian gland that is found inside the tarsus. This is the meepomian glands. While this one is the uh, lateral palpebral ligaments and the medial palpebral ligaments. This ligaments is the whitnall one.